Uh, hello guys, um, my brother recently posted, about three hours ago, a interesting, uh, thing. Uh, let me read this to you. This eight-year-old child was told he couldn't bring the Bi his Bible to read at school during his free time. So that's what it, this is going to be about. Okay, as an atheist, I don't believe in God. I don't. But, as an atheist, I do believe that people should be allowed to read the Bible if they want. If you're religious and you want to read the Bible, good for you. Go ahead. As long as you're not disturbing anyone else. Which I'm pretty sure this boy was not doing. Now, I'm pretty sure that this would probably make people think that uh, God religion is being taken from our children. That's not even close to being true. The problem with that argument is you have these isolated incidents that people take way out of fucking, um, out of proportion. Yeah, it's really not. This is an isolated incident. You know, random, out of the blue. There's no reason to, to be up in arms about this. There's really no reason. Okay? The boy had the Bible out during his free time. I'm pretty sure that it wasn't reading the damn story that he was reading out loud. He was just looking at it like this. And the teacher, I, I really don't care if the, if the teacher is a guy or not. I really, that's not the point. I don't really give a shit about who the teacher was. And I don't want anyone telling me who the teacher's name was. I don't give a fuck. That's not the point of the video. The point of the video is, should children... No, let me rephrase that. Should anyone be allowed to bring a religious um, book to school, and should you be allowed to look at such religious uh, uh, object? Well, yeah, we, uh, anyone should be allowed to look at their religious books, uh, if whatever the hell they're doing has been done, you know, you've done your assignment, you've done your, your duty in the classroom, and let's say you have eight minutes, you know, you feel like, you know what, I'm going to spend this eight minutes read my Bible, okay, so you whip out your Bible, you open it up to like, you know, Genesis or whatever you want to read that day, maybe Exodus, uh, or Genesis, or, um, or any other, uh, story, uh, book, whatever. Maybe you want to learn about the resurrection. You want to read about what uh, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Maybe you want to read uh, Noah, David or Goliath, whatever. And you're just, you know, reading your Bible. Not disturbing anyone else. And then you have a teacher. Just have a fucking problem with it. My problem is with the teacher, not the child, because the child didn't do anything, okay? The child didn't do anything that uh, required uh, a punishment. He was reading a book. In, in this instance, it was the Bible. But, I mean, hell, you know, it could have been any book. It could have been Harry fucking Potter. It could have been Twilight. Do they make any Twilight books? I don't, I don't really fucking know. Uh, he could have read uh, one of the Lord of the Wings books. 
or one of the Harry Potter books. Or hell, a fucking Green Eggs and uh, a Dr. Zeus book. And this could have been, uh, and the teacher could have had an issue with. In this instance, the teacher had an issue with the Bible. But it could have been any book. It just happened to be with, uh, the Bible. Um, but do I believe that God is taken away from our children? That, you know, schools are taking away God? No. God is just as much a part of every child's uh, life than it was for your, your father, your mother, your grandmother. Okay, is it up front and personal? No. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's gone. It's just not the, it's not as in your face, you know, yelling at you. As it was probably in your grandma's day, in your mo in in your father's, in your mom's day, where religion was probably pushed on you and forced on you, no matter what religion you was. It doesn't matter if you were a Jew or a Muslim or a Christian or whatever. You know, there was a day where you'd go to class and you'd have a a Christian teacher, and they'd be like. Alright, let's start today with a prayer. And so you have these Jews, and you have these Muslims, and you have all these other religions, like, but I don't believe in this. Fuck you. You're gonna pray. And so, happily, the law was, um, laws have passed where you can't be forced to essentially be indoctrinated into a religion. But, is there an issue with this? No. I mean, if, if there was an issue, it's with the teacher, not with the student. The student didn't do anything. The teacher did. Punish the teacher. That's, that's what the problem is. Is with the teacher. Yeah, I honestly don't know how old this story is. Uh, I just happened to see it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a video about it. Get my opinion. The teacher should be punished. And I'm not talking a, a cut and pay or a suspension. File. They should lose their job. Why? Because. That is not their job. Their job is to teach. Not to tell some kid what they can and cannot do. That is beyond acceptable. I mean, that's like a police officer going up to a black person and just beating the living shit out of them. You know, oddly enough, they'd probably get a increase in pay because you know it's America and you know race, you know racial hate things still exist. Um, but um. It'd be like that. Like, you would expect that if a police officer went up to a black person and just beat the living shit out of them simply for the fact that, you know, black person, cop, you'd expect that cop would get fired. That's something you'd expect. And I'd expect that the same punishment should be applied to the teacher. This is way beyond acceptable. Okay, I mean, I, I honestly consider uh, this harassment. You know, it, this is unacceptable. Not only on the fact that the teacher thought it was okay to tell a student on their free time, mind you, on their free fucking own time. That they couldn't read their Bible. I'm sorry. But are you the fucking religious police? I didn't realize I was in fucking Nazi Germany. When the hell did I go into North Korea? Where my civil liberties mean jack shit. When the hell did I walk into China? North Korea. 
Nazi Germany. Huh? Last time I checked, America is still a free nation. So, any teacher that, uh, in my opinion, tells a student, hey, you can't read the Bible, you can't have the Bible, you, you know, you can't have the Bible in school, to me, that's harassment. That's not your job. Your job is to teach, not to tell students what they can and cannot do on their own time. And if the person doesn't at least have a, a, a massive cut in pay, or is if the person still has a job and wasn't suspended without pay or didn't have a pay cut, there was a serious problem. There was a serious fucking problem. You know, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. And I don't believe in God because there's no evidence. Literally, there's no evidence. If there was even a fucking crumb of evidence, I, I would immediately say that I'm not an atheist. I might not be religious. But if there was some proof that you could not disprove, I will immediately say that I'm not an atheist. But there is no evidence, so I have to be an atheist. It's the only logical conclusion. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to turn a blind eye to injustice. I mean, I wouldn't turn a blind eye to a, a cute puppy being kicked. I'd be like, seriously, dude. You shouldn't be fucking doing that. That's that's fucking evil. And I'd probably make a video about a, a puppy being kicked. Or a, 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 a police dog being wrongly abused by its officer. By its master. And there was a video where an officer was doing that very thing. And that fucking officer should be fired if he hadn't already um any police officer that uh, abuses power should be fired and if there was ever a video or ever a story that came across I would probably make a video saying hey you know this shit's not right you shouldn't be doing it and in this case it's the teacher not the student the teacher that should be punished. And if the kid was ever punished, then justice was not solved. You know, you punished the wrong fucking person. Uh, again, I don't know how old this story is. I literally just saw my brother post it three hours ago. Just had, uh, just found time to make the video. Um, so... If the, if the teacher wasn't punished, that they need to be punished. They need to be at least have their pay cut. But I would hope, I mean, this is just me, my optimal point, you know, the, the thing that I would want if this actually happened, you know, again, would be that the teacher be fired. Immediately. Just like terminated. Because there's no fucking point. Why would they do this? Why would you tell someone what they can and cannot do? That is not your job. Your job is to teach, not to tell them what they can and cannot do. And the teacher overstepped their bounds. And so for this one time, I do sympathize and side with the religious. 
for this one time. So, uh, yeah, I, I do realize that I repeated myself a lot, but still, I wanted to just stress the point that I do not agree with the teacher telling the student you can't read the Bible or you can't have the Bible. Because that's, that's not anywhere in your job description. Uh, your job is to teach. That's it. Going beyond that is overstepping your bounds. Not only did he or she overstep their bounds, they not only overstepped it, they fucking got a giant fucking pole and just jumped over it. You know, that's what they fucking did. It, it's like they fucking pole vaulted their ass over the fucking limit. And went like 10 feet beyond. That's all I gotta say.